Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Cisco Packet Tracer Tutorials for Beginner. Siawash is here and today I want to talk about the Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol. In last video you became familiar with the Spanning Tree Protocol and see its benefit and advantages. But as you realize when we do the ping test the convergence back to alternative link was very slow in the spanning tree protocol. Rapid spanning tree protocol solves this problem and provide the faster reconvergence time for our spanning tree environments. As you can see in this scenario we got the three switches are connected. One redundant links provide the connection between switch 2 and switch 0. Switch 1 is our root bridge is connect to our server farms and two pieces are tried to connect to our server on the server farm. I do the ping test with the original spanning tree protocol again in this video and you will see the difference. Let's provide some check on the switch before going for the ping test. I do the show spanning tree and as you can see here we got the VLAN 1 spanning tree mode is IEEE spanning tree original and this bridge is our root because of the lower MAC address because I don't change any priority on these switches I do the same test with the switch 0 also and see what's going on this show span okay what we got here is another switch with the original priority and IEEE mode of spanning tree and FA02 is our root port goes to the root bridge should be this port, yes, FA2 and the switch 0. Let's do it and show span. What we got here is still the same IEEE 32769 because the VLAN 1 is added to the 32768. If you don't know what are these numbers, you can watch the previous video and FA. 0 slash 1 is our root port goes to our root bridge and should be this link yes okay I go to the PC 0 perform the t test for the ping ping dash t 192.168.01 to our server okay we have a ping and go to the switch 2 and shut down the root port let's bring these two windows side by side you will see it's easier okay it's good go to the global config interface fa0 slash 2 our root port still is here and do the shot and you will see how many pings we lost in the original spanning tree you see one ping is at least and still our packet tracer and our real environment couldn't find the alternative way still waiting maybe the root port is coming up still three pings is lost and yeah you see still this link is because I shut it down is a red and this redundant link is not enabled yet and it take around 20 or 30 seconds which is not suitable for today modern networks especially if you got the voice over IP you lose uh, so many conversation in this situation okay let's watch and see when the ping is back okay looks like the link is became the green and finally we got our ping back well even if I bring back the root port you will see here it take time to back to the original configuration you see my pings is stop previously I got six seven ping lost and still we got the lost ping request timeout is started and the link is not up yet okay three ping lost and this is not very good as I mentioned it's not good at all okay and uh, okay is back up we got the reply from our servers okay what's the solution as I mentioned the solution is a spanning tree protocol mode 
should be changed to the rapid spanning tree protocol. Let's do it switch by switch. Don't forget all the switch in your network should change to the rapid spanning tree protocol to use the RSTP. In that case, if one of them is still on IEEE or old mode of the spanning tree protocol, this technology is backward compatible and back to work in a normal spanning tree protocol. Let's start with the, this root bridge or no difference actually. We should go to the global config and use this command spanning tree spanning tree mode and question mark. You can see pervilan spanning tree and rapid pervilan spanning tree. I choose a rapid spanning tree here. You can see okay the command is like that and if I show the span you can see now my mode is changed to the RSTP instead of IEEE almost the rest configuration is the same I just need to go to the switch 2 okay to global config and change the spanning tree mode to the rapid spanning tree same command you see it's not a big deal go to the switch 0 and do the same thing you see spanning tree mode is IEEE and I go to the global config mode spanning tree question mark we have different options you can choose a spanning tree for the different VLAN you can set the port fast I will discuss in another video for you and finally there is a mode you can choose the rapid spanning tree protocol and show a span on the switch 0 and it became RSTP okay and I don't know why sometimes the packet tracer shows this problem so let's do our testing here let's do the review on the switch one still enable the show span and see still this bridge is root and all the same all the same settings we go to the PC1, PC0 and ping our server and now I do the same test what I did on the switch 2 ok let's bring all windows side by side enable global config interface ok0 slash 2 and you see this how many pings we lost in rapid spanning tree protocol ok and go for a shutdown and see ok the pings stop Okay, still waiting. One being lost and is bring back. See how it fast the RSTP compared to conventional spanning tree protocol. And okay, I'll do the no shot here. You see how many ping lost here? Okay. Stop ping the stop. And you see is how it fast. Only one ping is lost in this scenario. It's a great compared to the spanning tree protocol and if you can use all the, um, in your environment I mean if the switch are the compatible with the RS spanning, RSTP which is nowadays all the support the rapid spanning tree protocol I recommend it to use if you want I can do the same test for the PC1 you see how it can be fast okay let's go to the PC1 do the same test okay you can do it on your packet tracer as well 0 1, 0 0.1 the ping is goes on and this time I go to the switch 0 bring the windows go to the switch oops okay show span okay root port is FA0 slash 1 global config interface FA0 is 1 and I do the shutdown and you watch the ping window and shut and you see, even is very fast, very, very fast. It's back and no shot. And you see, even sometimes I don't lose any ping. But when I back, at least I lost one ping, which is acceptable compared to the spanning tree protocol. I hope this video is helpful for you. You can test it on your home. Please subscribe on our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page as well as send your feedback and comments if you have any question and discussion please do not hesitate to contact us see you very soon on another video bye for now